Go to church. Bella's words were brought back to him that Sunday. He hadn't been in years. It didn't bother him. Folks harbored by the outreach church were on the streets with fundraiser M&Ms at stoplights. He gave and cracked the sugar shells between his teeth. These folks came off true. Most homeless before the church gave them shelter. Homelessness is a hell of an education if you survive it, Will thought. An education in hell. They called out on hot and cold days to wash your car. They invited you to be with them on Sunday. They asked nothing of you but you. If you did not give, they said God bless you, regardless. Will asked Lance if he wanted to go to the outreach for Sunday service. It's non-denominational, he said. Lance's mother had the Pope on the walls. The ceremony, what is it, Baptist or something? That's what I want to find out. Lots of action, I imagine. Hands in the air, stomping your feet. A catharsis of sorts. Like common, grabbing the mic. Like water for chocolate. Like ice cream for vanilla. That might be too much. I'm used to crossing myself, Lance said, and nodding off. What sounds better, dancing yourself ragged or having the blood sucked out of you in a stiff pew? Point taken. Where is it? Homan, Homan and Grand. Not exactly my part of town. God's house is your house, I assure you. Come into the fold, Will said. Point taken. What time are we looking at? Seven in the morning. Forget about it. What tragedy has set you thinking on church anyway? No tragedy. I used to go when I was a kid. I haven't been in a long, long time. Is your mother coming down on you? Lance asked. Is it a girl? Bella? No, damn you. It's like I told you. I want to go. Will made the afternoon inside listening to music with a book in his hands. He had trouble with blues. He had to be in the mood for jazz. Classical? a salve for his ears. Rock and roll took him back and burnt him out. Hip-hop inspired. Country was a chance he rarely took. Folk gave him roots he never knew he had. R&B was best in bed. Music was his life. Raccoon liked to lie on top of the large felt speakers when she wasn't putting holes in his clothes, sheets, furniture, his arms and legs. He refused to cut her claws or get her declawed. He was too simple and unfashionable in jeans to have a neutered cat without claws. She strutted like the tiger she was, with will wisdom old as platinum snakes wrapped around sunned Egyptian arms. He put down the book and slept. On a steep slope of granite, water rushed forth. Helen climbed the smooth rock, finding footholds in the cracks. She was as he had seen her on the street, with a different step he had known, carrying herself with grace, holding herself high. She was wearing army green pants, and she slipped, and the water carried her down toward him. He stood up, startled, and caught her by a leg as she was carried past, and the water rushed over her and his arm. He held on, only the rushing water was heard, and only the rushing water was real, and he summoned his strength to pull her from it. 